What's going on YouTube? It's your homie guy about to bring y'all a new video today on the It's On You channel. And today this video is about a new holster that I got. The, the actual holster has been out. The design has been out, I guess, for a year or so, maybe a little longer. But it's new to me, so I'm just going to show you guys. So before I get to it, y'all know I got to do my EDC dump. So we're going to start off with my shades. These are the Oakley Holbrooks. Favorite shades. All right. Oh, go to my watch. And this is the Atlas. And it is made by Singing Instruments. This is their strap, and also this is their button compass. All right, we're gonna go to my keys. It's like a firefighter key lanyard, O light keychain light on it. I'm gonna go to my EDC light, and it is the Cloud Defensive MCH. This is the EDC head. This is their new clip that they have. It's been out for a while. All right, left pocket we got my wallet it's a minimalist wallet also made by recycle firefighter used to be black multi cam i don't know what it is now gray multi cam i don't know all right my notepads riding the rain notepad i use it all the time and my tourniquet and it is accompanied by a sharpie all right also uh would have been in my right back pocket but i'm recording from it it's an iphone 14 pro then we have my Leatherman Skeletal. tool. All right, EDC blade. We have the Kershaw Blur, and it is the S30 D steel with a M MXG deep pocket carry clip. All right, also in my front right pocket, we have my Alpha Alpha Pros in a hype case. We have Fisher Space Pen Bullet. And Burt's Bees Wax Chapstick. And then we have the gun. The Lock 19 Gen 5 MOS front serrations with the Trigicon Suppressor Height Night Sights. We have the Hollison 507C, and it is mounted on the CNH Weapon Precision Red Dot Mount Plate. And it, it does have the um, Trigicon RMR uh, footprint. And as you can see, we have the Streamlight TRLR7. This is the original, uh, the first gen of this. And it is riding in the Tier 1 Conceal. <clears throat> I had to get it out with these new clips. Tier 1 Conceal Axis Elite. And we're going to talk more about it on the tabletop. We're going to change the view up. And it's just pretty much we're going to do a tabletop, and I'm going to show you the progress and uh, the designs that they have had over the years from the Gen 1. So now this I would consider to be the Gen 3 or whatever. And I, like I said, I've been using these guys uh, for years. It's like probably like holster number eight or whatever. I've sold uh, one or two of them, but it's like holster number eight or whatever for me when it comes to them. They're in my top three for as in, uh, holster makers, them, uh, Atlas and Ryan Design, and 77 Solutions. I hate that 77 Solutions is not making holsters right now because he made some awesome stuff and good quality. But he's not making right now, but he still is in my top three for as an uh, uh, aftermarket custom holster maker. All right, we're going to change the view up and we're going to talk about it on the table and I can show you guys the uh, design progression over a few years. All right, child, we're going to get right to it. And before we get too far, since I'm handling the gun and it's holster, I'm going to show you that it's clear, which it is clear because I just got through doing some dry fire. Okay, and it is nothing in the mag, and the chamber is clear. Also, it's nothing in this mag because I was dry firing with it as well. So we're gonna get right to it. It's nothing in there. All right. So this is the difference in the three generations. Now this was uh, I want to say this was my very first uh, tier one seal concealment uh, appendix holster, and as you can see, the design. This was the original design. And it had these things where it's like snap on buttons. And this right here really changed the game for uh, appendix carry because it gave you that flexibility and it didn't just sit there real stiff in, in your pants with your belt or whatnot. So it kind of folded to the shape of your body. And this was pretty, uh, pretty dope, man. This was a game changer, like I said, when it came to that. And this is where everyone now gets this from when it comes to the flexibility in the uh the holster when it comes to the sidecar and this was for my glock 23 with the enforce uh weapon like 
whip and mounted light on there. Also, you know, it'll take the Glock 19 as well. It went this one in here, that one in here as well. But this was what this was for. And this was the first gen. And then we come to the second gen. And this was the uh, Axis uh, Elite. Now, this was the uh, Agus uh, holster. I want to think that's how you pronounce it the Agus. And this, is, this was the Axis uh, Slim. And this is the Axis Slim Elite. Now, the difference you want to, some may say, what is the difference between these two? Now, with this one, from the first to the second gen, when they approved that they actually brought the sidecar holster closer in and you didn't have this wide spread of uh you know material and uh you know stuff across your uh your, your uh, abdomen or whatnot so they shortened it up and they still gave you that flexibility as you can see it's still flexible it folds with your body they use this bungee cord thing and it was pretty good and it still is good to this day because i still carry it and i still will carry it but then when it came to uh, the uh, wing clip, as you can see, uh, it's an upgrade from this one because it was just a line. And then when they came up with the new generation of, on the wing clip, they flared it out to a little bit, uh, a little to the right to give you more real estate to help push that, uh, the holster and uh, mainly the butt of the gun. It was designed to push the butt of the gun closer to your body so you won't have a, a less of a... Uh, a print when you're carrying your holster so with that being said they came up with this new wing that they got and it's very adjustable so you can adjust this by stacking more of these little plates and it still got that wider base which now it has a wider base as you can see as far as in pushing it back to uh to your body off of your belt and your uh pants and you can also stack them to give it more to push it back towards the body more. And also you can adjust this. You can slide it up or down. And then they still have that flexible, uh, but it's less real estate. It's less uh, material that they have. Now you can see this sh it's shorting it down. And you have that little logo, tier one in here. And also when it comes to the uh, mag carrier, they have this imprint in here as well to help push it back to the body. As you can see, you don't have it on here. They have it where you can push it back to the body. And with this, what I like about this uh, holster, what I chose as far as in the height of the mag carrier, I can run a Glock 17 plus two, which is a larger uh, magazine than the original that goes in the Glock 19. And with this design, it's pretty much the same height. It's pretty much the same height as the gun versus back when I would carry this in here it's set up much higher in the uh, holster. And then with carrying it, this will always poke me and I would always feel it. So I, the end result to that, I end up always carrying a Glock 19 holster because it will level off with it. And as you can see, this is more comfortable because it's level off with it. But now I can carry more rounds for as in backup with this new design that they have because it's flushed off actually. I still think the uh the slide of the gun may be a little taller than this magazine, which is a Glock 17 magazine plus two. So this is pretty, pretty uh dope the uh the way that they came up with this design. And I also have the upgraded um clips on here. These clips are called the uh discreet carry clips. They're metal, they'll hold on to your sweatpants. If you got sweatpants on, if you got a belt up under there get a hold, you know what I'm saying? So if you got a good drawstring in your sweatpants and you want to carry this, get a hold. I mean, it's really, really good. The retention on it is very good. And the color that I have is called the Recon Fog. I really like this. You know, I got a little gray phase I'm going through, man. I'm just loving the, the storm gray and the smoke gray. I'm just really loving all the gray. So I went with this color or whatever. And I don't want to hold you guys too long, but I just wanted to show you guys the difference in the holsters and uh, the progress that they have made consistently over the years with their designs or whatever. And their design team is pretty good, man. I like the holsters. And like I said, they're in my top three of holster makers. Them them being one, Alex and Ryan is one of my favorites. Also in 77 Solutions, uh, EDC, they make some great holsters as well. I hope you start back making them. But other than that, man, y'all get out there and train. Peace.
All right, guys, hopefully y'all enjoyed the video. Hopefully it was helpful to anyone, someone who was in the market looking for a new hostel or whatnot, trying to make a decision. Uh, it's not cheap, but it, at the same time, you know, when it comes to a hostel, especially if you the, that person that only have one gun or whatnot, and that's, or even if it's not that you don't have only one gun, it's just your primary gun that you're going to carry. And it is well worth it because it's good quality. Uh, lifetime uh, warranty on it if anything happened to it they're good customers they have great customer service you can reach out to them send it back they'll take care of you or whatnot and um it's just like they, they're saying you know buy once cry once you know what i'm saying when it comes to something like this for you uh, this that you're using for self-defense it's, it's worth it you know what i'm saying that are there other uh comp hostel companies that uh make uh decent quality holsters for cheaper yeah i'm quite sure it is uh but I, I haven't came across them right at this moment because pretty much now everyone is going to charge. Uh, I mean, it's, it's not nothing's cheap right now, especially when it comes to uh, custom uh, holsters or whatever. But you just got to figure out what works best for you and just be willing to pay for it. You know what I mean? Uh, some are cheap or whatever, but, you know, it's just don't they might not have that track record or whatnot. But other than that, man, hopefully this was helpful. I will put a link in the description. Other than that, y'all goddamn train. Be safe. Peace. Punk life. It's on you.